Hello my beautiful people and welcome to Lip Balm Kiss TV. So I have partnered with Beauty Forever Hair to give you guys a tutorial on how to do a pineapple ponytail on a glueless natural wig. And we're going to do some fluffy baby hairs to give the more natural seamless look. So as I just mentioned this is a glueless unit but it did come with these blue tabs you see me pulling off here. These are the new innovative ear tabs okay so this is my first time doing it so i did a one side ear tab and one side i didn't do as you guys can see just so i can give you guys a fair honest review and compare one side of me using the ear tabs compared to me not using it so yeah this side right here that you see sticking up i did not use the ear tab on that side i just took it off and we did a glueless unit because this unit came pre-plucked pre-bleached pre-customized like the most natural hairline I've seen in a very long time and for the density in the wig to be so high you would think that the hairline would be like way more full and give like that helmet look but to be honest the hairline was absolutely perfect just how it came I did not have to cut the lace or anything I just got my hairsprays and look at that this is this is my secret Krabby Patty ingredient right here taking that melt in okay taking that white cast away and melting into the skin so yeah with the glueless units I still like to use some type of hairspray just to make sure that everything's intact especially if I'm doing like a updo like we are today <laughs> So after we got our edge band on and went in with our wax, we are going to go in with our hot comb. And like I said, we're doing a pineapple ponytail, so I still want to make sure the front has its natural texture, but also lays as flat as possible. If I was wearing this hair down, which I did end up doing, I would just let it stay how it is. But the fact that I want the front to be kind of flat, just for the ponytail. Now when it comes to the baby hairs, at first I was debating if I was even going to do baby hairs because this hairline is freaking amazing and I love a clean look. But with the texture of this wig, I did want it to look a little more realistic so I parted out some random hairs around the edge and I made sure they pretty much, it was random, there was no method to the madness. Took my eyebrow razor, cut them to like a medium length, like they're not super short. Because when you're doing fluffy hairs, you want them to be kind of longer. You want your baby hairs to be longer because you're going to curl them, which you guys will see in just a second. So I cut my baby hairs and got our baby flat iron just for the baby hairs. And I'm curling um, towards my face. I know some people say curl away, but I feel like I don't really see the difference. So I curled towards my face. Um, I end up using some eco gel and just kind of free forming the edges until... I was okay with how they looked pretty much and don't glue them to your face you're just kind of using gel and just fluffing them out and letting them dry and messing them up you do not want to glue these down to your face okay you just want to kind of like style them to where when they dry they're kind of like fluffy and they look messed up but kind of like on purpose messed up if that makes sense but yeah this was kind of my favorite part low-key Now, 
I know some people think you have to have the 360 lace to do the pineapple ponytail style, but that is not true, y'all. All you have to do is gather the hair at the top, and then when you get to the back, you wanna pull a few hairs as close to your neck as you can down and just fluff them up and mess them up to cover the bottom of the wig that's it so you want your ponytail to look a little messed up in the back and that will cover the back of the wig you can do this for a top knot you can do this for a messy bun you can do this for a ponytail any way that you want an updo as long as you mess up the back a little bit towards your nape area it will literally blend in the back of the wig y'all see how simple that was and i am going to turn around and show y'all the back so y'all know Ain't no cap in my wrap, okay? You, If you mess up the hairline in the back, you will have a perfect pineapple ponytail. So this is the final look. Isn't she cute? This was so freaking cute, y'all. This is one of my favorite wigs I think I've done this year because it mimics my natural hair. And as y'all can see in the back, y'all see how the bottom of my neck is messed up kinda? Yeah, it's giving this is my real hair you mean this is my real hair but shout out to beauty forever hair like i said pre-bleached pre-customized natural hairline again i think that the ear tabs the blue ear tabs for the glueless is perfect because if you don't want to deal with all that you can just peel the sticker off and stick it onto your head just like that and it will stay like i said i did one with and one without just so i can give you all the comparison but make sure you guys check out the description box below if you are interested in this wig and thank you again beauty forever hair